Okay, class, let's take a look. See uh, where were we uh, in the previous lesson. Uh, so class, take a look. So this is uh, in the previous lesson. Uh, we are about in the type 121 uh, consciousness. Uh. Okay, class, if you do remember, okay, uh, I remember in the previous lesson, okay, we talk about 89. Uh, 89 consciousness, totally we got 89 consciousness. And then from 89, okay, uh, mathematically, and apitamically, finally all of you got it. Oh, how, how, how can you uh, make the number from 89 to 121? I remember so well. Huh? But I think usually you don't remember. Lah. <laughs> you will remember only if there's examination. Huh? Without examination, the student can hardly remember anything, <laughs> including me. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, uh, I remember uh, after, uh, uh, after the understanding uh, in the previous lesson, Immediately we go. Uh, we have gone through some uh, passage, uh, so we have to gone back again. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look. Uh, maybe I should have to show you a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, here is the list of the table. Okay. How? Uh, how? Uh, how do we? Uh, I would like to remind you. Uh, just uh, we go to the diagram number one point one. Okay. Uh, so one point one diagram. Okay. Uh, one point one. Okay, uh, it's about it's the page twenty eight. Okay, huh? maybe you just take a look. Huh? on the screen we'll find we do. Let's take a look. Okay, so uh, remember in the previous lesson we talked about eighty one mande chitta. Huh? So eighty one mande chitta meaning to say there will be twelve unwholesome chitta, rootless chitta eighteen, sense sense uh, sense fear beautiful chitta is twenty four. Huh? Meaning to say, that, let's see. 54 is fraud is, is I mean is, is calculated by adding 12, 18, and 24. Then five materials field we got 15. In materials field we got 12, right? Here basically we got eight. Uh, reason is because we got the path of the stream and three, one, two, three, four, another one, two, three, four. So this is how the eight figure come up. But anyway. In order to attain the path of the stream and the re, okay, we can use either first, second, third, fourth, fifth jhana, and, and same uh, in order to uh, in order to uh, to attain to the ones returning, we also can use either first, second, third, fourth, fifth jhana. So that's why we notice that the all five are appeared here, including this, including I mean, uh, the path and the fruit. Right, so meaning to say, uh, once it turn up all become the five, so there will be twenty. Okay, ho. So eighty one x twenty will become hundred twenty one. Ho. Meaning to say what? Meaning to say practically, uh, if you do meditation, you attain to the first jhana. Well, you can use it immediately to attain to the first entry. Okay, ho. First, uh, 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 the path for the first entry or first entry or the part of the first entry and you can use it to attain to the fruit of the stream entry also okay huh? if you attain to the second jhana you can use this uh, to to practice uh, the path of the ones returning and also the fruit of the ones returning uh, so in the simple way that it's not necessary for you to practice uh, i mean um, the fourth jhana or fifth jhana huh? but uh, this is theoretically we do so uh, theoretically we understand oh actually we got so many options but practically uh, you are encouraged to attain to try to do the vipassana with the fifth jhana uh, the reason is uh, shakyamuni uh, attain uh, the buddhahood uh, uh, under the body tree by fifth jhana and also uh, during the pari vipana also through the fifth jhana and uh, during his childhood okay he accidentally go into the fifth jhana or so uh, i think the moment uh, he just stay behind uh, uh, somebody is doing the farming uh, so he just meditate besides their knee okay uh, and practically uh, a class okay once you are able to reach the first jhana it's not difficult for you from first jhana to second jhana from second jhana to third jhana and to fifth jhana the reason is they are in the same realm Okay, but the most difficult part is from the Upachara Samadhi to the first jhana. That's very tough. The reason is we get used, our brain are used 
for being censorious. Okay, oh, okay. You see, <laughs> I just made a cup of coffee. You see, <laughs> well, very delicious. You see, how oh, okay, how oh. uh, no, we'll bring a uh, get used to it. Oh. Let Jun Tala always post, uh, oh, eating here, eating there, right? In Facebook, or oh, hey, enjoy the retiring life fully. You see, so we need to say, I will bring a uh, quite get used to it already in order to you want to concentrate. Uh, 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 Except, I mean, uh, if you successful before, that will be easier for you. If you are not successful before, basically to bring, uh, you prefer, uh, I mean, a uh, wandering uh, uh, in the ram, uh, in the uh, desire state. So that's why it's very tough uh, uh, for the bring uh, uh, to give up. Okay, except the bring realize that, I mean, uh, the joy, the, our present joy, is momentary. Only. Except, except, and and you and you notice that uh, actually the, the better joy is. Uh, you, you can attain to the better joy through giving up the sensuous joy. Uh, I mean, uh, you will you will do this until you realize by yourself. Then it's the moment now uh, you're ready to step to the first jhana. Oh, once you step into the first jhana, you success already. Uh, basically, uh, you won't really missing. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the desire ram uh, anymore. Uh, but uh, you still have to go back to your job. So I remember so well. Uh, <laughs> There's one monk uh, who can do the Samatha Vipassana so well, but but he is still grum he was still grumbling for what he said uh, once I withdraw from the jhana, become normal, I got so many chores to do in the temple. <laughs> a lot of planning, a lot of financial trouble. I mean, even though you go to the jhana, everything gone, uh, but when you go back to the Monday, well, everything come back to you, you know. Because this monk is not good in planning, you know. Ah, like Mr. Leung, uh, you meditate very well. Uh, but after the meditation, you have to repair your bus, what, right? Oh, you still have to feed your stomach, you see. Uh, you have to settle everything. Uh, uh, you still have to, you see. Uh, so that's why, uh, Sometimes uh, ho, we, we, I met other uh, people, uh, I can hardly find the people uh, ho, who have, I mean, uh, get the balance between both of it. Usually people, uh, ho, they, are, they are good like, in the mandate, but the super mandate, quite hard like, for them to attain. Uh, some they can do experience well in the mandate, I mean at the jhana, uh, uh, but in their mandate world, uh, quite, uh, I mean, quite a quite mess up scene. You know, uh, uh, so this is uh, in, in the real world, uh, in the real world. Uh. Okay, anyway, we go back to the theory. Uh, uh, see how is the hundred, uh, I mean, uh, the, 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 I mean uh, this, uh, uh, this 141 or uh, 121, uh, how does it, uh, 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 how, how, what was the theory behind it? Okay, uh, uh, let me check first. I remember, uh, uh, just do the reading, but not enough uh, for the explanation, so I just stop it. Uh. So I think, uh, uh, Junta, okay, would you like to read? Can you read for me? Huh? How does the consciousness, please? Okay, huh? okay. Uh, on the mic, please, Junta. Uh. Okay. Uh, where, which page is that? Yeah, here is this page 71. We'll you take a look to the one, uh, okay, screen. Sure. Yes, and here, how does. Okay. How does consciousness, which is analyzed into 89 types, become one of 121 types? The first jhana path of consciousness of stream entry together with initial application, sustained application, zest, happiness, and one pointedness. Two, the second jhana path of consciousness of stream entry together with sustained application, zest, happiness, and one pointedness. The, the third jhana path consciousness of stream entry together with zest, happiness, and one pointedness. The fourth jhana consciousness of stream entry together with happiness and one pointedness. The, the fifth jhana path consciousness of stream entry together with equanimity and one pointedness. These are the five types of consciousness, path consciousness of stream entry. So too, for the path consciousness of once returning, of non-returning, and of arahanship, making 20 types of path consciousness. Similarly, there are 20 types of fortune consciousness. Thus, there are 40 types of supramundane consciousness. All meditators reach the supramundane path and fruits through the development of wisdom and insight into the three characteristics of impermanence 
suffering, and non-self. However, they differ among themselves in the degree of their development of concentration, samadhi. Those who develop insight without a basis, without basis of jhana are called practitioners of bare insight, sukha vipaksaka. When they reach the path and fruits, their path on infusions, chitas, occurs at a level corresponding to the fifth jhana, to the first jhana, sorry. Those who develop insight on the basis of jhana attain a path and fruits which correspond to the level of jhana they had attained before reaching the path. The ancient teachers advanced different views on the question of what factors determine the jhana level of the path and fruit and fruits. One school of thoughts hold that it is the basis jhana, padakajana, there's the jhana used as a basis for concentration, for concentrating the mind before developing the insight that culminates in attainment of the supramundan path. A second theory holds that the jhana level of the path is determined by the jhana used as an object for investigation by insight called the comprehended or investigated jhana, samasita jhana. Still a third school of thoughts holds that when a meditator has mastered a range of jhana, he can control the jhana level of the path by his personal wish or inclination. Ajasaya. Nevertheless, no, ma no matter what explanation is adopted for bare insight meditator and jhana meditator alike, all path and process stars are considered types of jhana consciousness. They are so considered because they occur in the mood of closely contemplating their object with full absorptions, like the mundane jhana, and because they possess the jhana factors with an intensity corresponding to their counterparts in the mundane jhana. Mundane jhanas of the path and fruits differs from the mundane jhanas in several important respects. First, where else the mundane jhana takes as the object some concept such as a sign of the kasina. Uh, the supra mundane the, jhana. Sorry, uh, yes. supra mundane mundane. Uh, so supra many, mundane. Uh, the word recurring so, so many, I, I have to uh, tell you now. Okay, please. Okay. okay so uh, supra mundane. Mundane, mundane. Mundane. Okay, the supra mundane jhana take as the nibbana, the unconditioned reality. Second, where else the mundane jhana merely suppress the defilements while leaving their underlying seats intact. The supra mundane jhana of the path eradicate defilements so that they can never again arise. Third, while the mundane jhana lead to rebirth in the fine material world and thus sustain existence in the realm of rebirth, the jhana of the path cuts off the fetal binding one to the cycle and thus issue in liberation from the realm of birth and death. Finally, where else the role of wisdom in the mundane jhana is subordinate to that of, of concentration. In the supra mundane jhana, wisdom and concentration are well balanced, with concentration fixing the mind on the unconditioned elements and wisdom, fathoming the deep significance of the four normal truths. According to the constellations of their jhana factors, the path and fruition chitas are graded along the scale of the five jhana. Thus, instead of enumerating the supra mundane consciousness as eight fall by way of the bare path and fruits, each path and fruition consciousness can be enumerated as five fold according to the level of jhana at which it may occur. When this is done, the eight supra mundane chitas, each taken at all of the five jhana levels, become 40 in eight, as shown in table 110. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so we highlight the point first.
A thumb up, please, once you finish high lighting. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, okay. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, once uh, in order to attain to the Nibbana, we call it as a supramandate. Okay, uh, uh, basically, uh, jhana is necessary. Jhana is necessary. But only one exception, only, uh, which is we call it as a bare insight. Sukha vipassana vinyana. This is the case, exceptional case. Let's take a look. Okay, bear inside. Suka, uh, suka vipassana. Oh. This is without jhana. A very exceptional case. Okay. Oh. Well, in Chinese, oh, I think maybe Bali, oh, they are using one word. They call it as a dry vipassana. You think why they call it as a dry vipassana? Oh. Mr. L uh, Sally, what do you think? Why without the jhana? Do the vipassana and the thing nibbana we call it as a dry vipassana because we are trying to get the <laughs> dry in what, dry in what sense trying to obtain the the jana. no no dry d r y dry in what <laughs> sense huh? we're trying to obtain the jana. No, 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 you do you don't understand my question. I say the person who can attain the jhana exceptional, okay, they can they can attain without the first jhana. So we call it as a dry, dry vipassana. Huh? Why we why we use the word dry, huh? Mr. Leo? Sifu, I don't know. You don't know. Uh, the reason is because uh, without the water of samadhi, so they call it as a dry uh, without the water of samadhi. Just like a durian, what am I calling it? Calling it konpo, am I? Ah, konpo meaning to say that they are the seed of the durian, ha, without uh, I mean ah, uh, uh, I mean uh, without enough water, uh, without moisturization. So we say it's konpo, or uh, uh, if the moisture enough, so that will be balanced, uh, uh, Same meaning. Uh, once you do the vipassana, if let's say you don't have the the, the I mean uh, the sama the water of samadhi, you will become dry vipassana or dry in water of samadhi or uh, well uh, this is a quite exceptional case but anyway if let's say uh, you are uh, you are using uh, the, the upachara samadhi we call it as upachara samadhi to attain the nibbana the moment uh, you attain to the nibbana you are i mean at uh, the concentration uh, for the path and the fruit uh, to the nibbana is equivalent to the first jhana Ah, so that is the case. This is the case. Uh, actually, uh, for this uh, dry vipassana, or we call it, or we call it as a bad inside, is not. It's quite rare. Uh, it's quite rare in in our uh, nikaya. Uh, but 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 uh, but some school. I mean, especially in in Theravada, there will be a one popular school. They have. They are quite encouraging people uh, to do this. The reason is it is more easy. Especially uh, the people in the city, like you see, like Guan San uh, la. You see, or uh, not? If let's say you want to attain uh, to the first jhana or a uh, maybe you have to stay in the jungle uh, for one month, uh, something like that. Anybody have? <laughs> everybody have to have to do that job. Uh, you see, or uh, not? Uh, so the most uh, you can take the leaf. Uh, what is the and how many days of your annual leaf? Uh, Guan San, how many days of your annual leaf? About. 25 uh. 25 okay you know in calling car they will at least request you to attend 10 days mm -hmm. so you, you still got remain another 15 days uh, but you have to spend for a holiday for yourself for your family right so you see or uh, not in the city uh, you want to encourage people uh, uh, to do the what a deep deep jhana is not practical uh, basically uh, this one uh, what a uh, first jhana second jhana sounds more suitable for a monk and the retiring people uh, like Chun Tat and Mr. Leong. <laughs> Especially Chun Tat um, always have a tea time one <laughs> in the Facebook. So you see, I mean to say that other uh, people like you are uh, uh, and Kwan is quite impossible. That's why uh, uh, sometimes uh, 
in, the, the Dharma in order to adapt uh, to the society. So they create a new method. And that in Myanmar, there's one school is very popular. They encourage the dry vipassana. I think this is a more attainable and more practical for most of the laymen. But sometimes uh, people might confuse that this is the ultimate. But basically, actually, this is the conventional only. So the ultimate, uh, you have to really go back to the first jhana, second to fourth jhana. That is the practical one. Okay, ho. Oh, well, this is the one thing. Uh. So second, uh, ho, we will start to talk about the supra mandi jhana and the mundane jhana. Ho. Okay, uh, mandi jhana, I think it's quite easy to understand. Okay, so far, we always talk about that. You try to pay attention to a kasina or maybe in your breath. Uh. So no matter kasina or the breath, we call it as a concept. Concept meaning to say it is conditionally. This we call it as a concept. Okay, ho. but if let's say uh, you if 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 you if you prolong the fruition, we call it as a supramandi jhana. Path and the fruition, they are both a supramandi jhana. Ho. Okay, let me show you. I think you 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 uh, you you you, uh, you might not be that clear. Ho. Let me show you something. Ho. Okay, uh, let's see first. Uh, mm, this is uh, page number one. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let me come to the diagram. Huh? Okay, see, uh, see whether am I able to make you understand or not? Huh? Okay, class, uh, take a look. We have to go to the chapter number four, the diagram here. Okay, uh, let's see. Absorption jhana process of uh, page 169. Huh? Page 169. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, uh, so this is the absorption jhana process. We, uh, I have to use this to explain. Huh? You see, class, this is the initial attainment of the jhana. We call it as the mande jhana. So this is the path of fruition. We call it as supra mundane okay uh, why why we call it as a mundane now uh, actually the definition of the mundane is the five aggregate uh, five aggregate if let's say we call the jhana the, the mundane jhana meaning to say that you are still in the five aggregate okay understandable uh, huh? okay huh? but uh, if we call it as a supra mandate meaning to say that you're already beyond the five aggregate so only the nibbana itself will be beyond the five aggregate. Oh, as, no matter how you see, man, quote the example, oh, everything is in the five aggregate. You see now, okay, uh, I, 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 I feel, okay, the fan, uh, okay, is fa uh, 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 fancing, is fancing me, uh, and fung fung sin, you see. So I feel cold, you see. So feeling is still in the Vedana aggregate, feeling aggregate, you see. So I'm talking, you can understand, uh, it still is the, we call it as a perception aggregate, you see, or not? Oh, mm. Then you can hear there's a consciousness aggregate. You see, you can you can't run away from the fire aggregate. Or oh. even though you attain to the jhana, you are still using your brain or your we call you use your mind to attain to the jhana. So meaning to say that the brain also involves the fire aggregate. Oh. As the brain, I mean uh, this is a structure we call it as a rupa or oh, the material. And then in the mental state, oh, uh, you are using the consciousness oh, to attain to the jhana. See, everything must be you can you can go beyond the fire aggregate. Right, okay, huh? but only Nibbana can be beyond the five aggregate. Huh? How do you attain? Yes, it's, we just, uh, Junta just read the passage. It said, through contemplating the Nama Rupa as Anicca Dukkha Anatta. Oh, not self, uh, uh, impermanence. Uh, you always keep on observing your body as. as as this one, or anicca to anatta, non impermanence, non self. Okay, then finally, uh, once uh, the vipassana matured, the nibbana will arise. Uh, so that is the meaning here. Huh? So let's take a look. I see. Huh? Here is the attainment of path of fruition. See, from here you see the A B C D. Okay, we just make it simple. Huh? Let's take a look. Okay, we ignore the B la, the kin one. We ignore it. You see, uh, this is the fruit. This is the path. See or not now? We will see that is the, the short. I mean, I mean how uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the key is here. See, a uh, uh, path and the fruit. Now, this is the path and the fruit. So, if let's say uh, the path and the fruit are uh, basically, uh, they are we call it as a supramandate because uh, they are 
their object are Nibbana. Uh, for the path of fruition, the object is a Nibbana. Because uh, once uh, you attain to the Nibbana, basically you won't create any karma. And this one, the attainment of the Nibbana, will bring you no more next life. Yeah, you will no more next life. You won't come back anymore. But if let's say you 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 attain it's the mandate, let's take a look. You see, JH uh, is a jhana, see you know, the jhana. If you attain to the jhana, you see you know, if you attain to the jhana, then the jhana will bring you back some more. Okay, huh? So you may ask uh, so in front it is this where is it? Uh, basically, class, all of this, they are our consciousness. See or not now? You see how we see the name preparation, assess, conformity, change of lineage. Okay, no matter how, all these they are a consciousness. Uh, I mean, a favorable consciousness. Okay, huh? okay where, where can you get that? Huh? So, class, uh, this one uh, you can come to the chapter number one. Let me show you first. Uh, huh? I need one more. I want to open one more file. Uh, huh? Okay, class, take a look. Uh. Let me show you what, what are there. Actually, you learned all this before. You see chapter one. Okay, huh? uh, then uh, we come to the... Uh, okay, see whether you can remember or not. In chapter number one, we, after the unwholesome consciousness, we will start to talk about the wholesome consciousness. Okay. Nah. Uh, okay. okay, see you now. Sense feel beautiful consciousness class, okay, or associate with the knowledge, they are the one will fit in this all this thing. Ah, meaning to say that you are using the beautiful sense chitta, you are using the beautiful sense field, beautiful consciousness to do the vipassana, but must be associated with the knowledge. I'm prop prop, it doesn't matter. Joy or not joy, it doesn't matter, but must be associated with the knowledge. Okay? So, class meaning to say that if you keep on doing the vipassana, even though you don't attain any supra mandate, but the karma you create here will bring you back as a human or the sensual realm. Get it? Ah, get it? So that is the meaning. Oh, this is the, I mean, uh, you can try to link them together. Okay? Huh? Slowly. Huh? I, I know it's quite burdened a little bit. Because if I don't, if, if, if I don't uh, refer back to the chapter 4, uh, it will be very abstract for you. you see? So I make it more clear. Uh, you will know that. Okay, huh? So that's the meaning. Uh, huh? Why we talk about this? Because both of the jhana, uh, they, are quite, they, they, they have a quite significant difference of class for this and this. Basically, uh, class, for this jhana, uh, the defilement just suppress only. So that's the reason why after you do very well, uh, 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 like, like Friday night sitting at home, so you, you sit very well. But tomorrow, if your jhana gone already, uh, basically uh, your habit will come back. You start scolding people already. <laughs> then you start greedy already. Why? The reason is uh, once you attain to the jhana, uh, if you call nimitta, your, your nimitta will use uh, all the the part of the brain, uh, uh, which is uh, correspond to the five, uh, the five hindrances, you will use it up. Uh, so you feel it. It seems you don't have any defilement, all right. But uh, once uh, you don't pay attention uh, to your concept, okay, to your to your method, then finally, okay, you will go back to the normal. Uh, so it is normal to see people once the jhana gone, they behave as usual, okay. But but if a supramandate jhana, the defilement will be eradicated permanently. Ah, then it will show different. Huh? But sometimes uh, we we'll get, get confused also. Huh? Number one, uh, if you attain to the jhana, maybe uh, for a whole day, huh? okay, uh, the jhana power is so strong, uh, even the ripper uh, can sustain maybe for one week, something like that. So uh, you yourself, or maybe uh, the third party will think, eh, it seems that you are Arahana because I didn't see you uh, got any defilement arise. You see, 
This is very confusing, you see. Second scenario is uh, some people they attain to the first path and fruit. Okay, they they consider as 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 a sage already, but the anger element uh, will just totally eradicate it once they are in the third stage arahan. So you will notice that eh, how come uh, the the guy uh, works so well with pasana but still will turn angry? Ah, you see, so people we can start confusing. How come it can happen this way? It can happen in this way. So sometimes uh, we, you can't judge uh, people or uh, where uh, how uh, how far they go. Quite difficult. Uh, just by using your naked eye, uh, we can only understand uh, through interview uh, their their past experience, or we stay together with them, or maybe you have you have opened your third eye or uh, uh, heavenly eye. To see his, to check uh, how his consciousness, uh, uh, we call it something to check his brain. Uh, then you can only determine in this way only. Uh, okay, uh, class. Uh, uh, so just uh, don't. So sometimes uh, uh, quite hard to check. The reason is because there got so many variation. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, so that is the different. Then secondly, uh, 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 okay. I think I already finished everything already. Uh, so we go back to the terminology. So class, I just thought we mentioned, you see, supramandate, path and fruition through the development of wisdom, panya. Okay, oh, how to do that, you see, insight into three characteristics. What is it? Impermanence, suffering, non-self. Anicca, dukkha, anatta. Basically, the condense of impermanence, suffering, and non-self are in five aggregates. So remember, huh? you don't see this in somewhere else. You all observe uh, the, the suffering, permanence, non-self in your five aggregate. Always remember that. Huh? Okay. Huh? Then next, let's take a look. Huh? Okay. Huh? So next sentence, we can bear inside. Huh? So in Mandarin, huh, we use it as a dry vipassana. You can just write a name, dry vipassana, and you can draw a Draw a picture of durian, huh, which is so impressive to you. Ah, am I huh? Konpo, ma, huh? Okay. Okay, huh? Understand, Konpo? Mr. Leo? Understand? Sally? Understand, mo? Konpo? You, you know, huh? Kon, kon ge lao lin, huh? Konpo ji do la, huh? Okay, huh? No la, huh? Okay, huh? Konpo, huh? Si, fu? Ah, Konpo, huh? No, in English, how do you talk about? English, huh? Sally? Right. Dry durian, ah. the word not that good. Lah, huh? They mean gong, ah. In English, ah. dry buff. Dry buff. Dry buff. Ah. Oh. Dry buff. <laughs> dry buff. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the curry puff, the puff. Ah. <laughs> Sounds funny. Huh? You see, ah, sometimes the words ah, you have to use the particular language ah, to feel the, build, the aroma of the language. <laughs> you translate to English. Not nice already. Oh, oh, ah, con pao, oh. So uh, you remember, you can you can write this. Uh, it's very, very impressive, you see. Then you see, uh, okay, the path and fruition correspond to the first jhana. Okay, oh. okay let's see. Okay, now, <clears throat> you see, uh, once, uh, once uh, even, even though you are doing the dry vipassana, but you contemplate object with full absorption, see or not? So that's why you will still will attain to the first jhana the moment you obtain to the nibbana oh, still will go to the first jhana so no matter how dry you are once you attain to the supraman you must be in the first jhana okay just we remember oh, you must be in the first jhana no matter how dry you are okay oh. uh, i i think uh, this case is necessary the reason is uh, sometimes uh, somebody is quite hard for them to attain to the first jhana they don't know why no matter how hard they try, they cannot. So, so there must be option alternative for them. So the the bare inside, the dry vipassana, is a good option for them. Wait, I see the delivery. Okay, not me. Okay, let's continue. Huh? Okay, you see, so this is a different with the supra mande jhana and the mande jhana. Number one, okay, mande jhana take the object some concept 
class pieces write down the definition concept is conditionality as long as something uh, i mean uh, uh, is formed by several factor we call it as a concept or meaning to say conditionality there's only one thing which is unconditionally the whole world clear what is it okay you better write english name uh, popo that they cannot understand chinese what is it there's only one thing which is unconditioned what is it clear i don't know the answer oh the answer is nibana only nibana is unconditioned everything in the world is condition even though uh, oh, no matter how far the science go oh, okay Tiongkit, what is the smallest particles uh, so far the scientists can discover by analyzing the particles the, i mean the material the finest one uh, I, there's something finer than the proton and neutron uh, I, I can't recall as the name sorry uh, what subject are you teach, are you teaching in in the college, uh, in, in the university, what, what Electr subject are you teaching? Uh, electronics, electronics. Electronics, uh, you, should, you should be able to answer me. Huh? I think <laughs> it's supposed to be quark like something, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Positron, quark, something like that. Huh? It's very close uh, to that thing already, very close already. Huh? Uh, I, I remember uh, remember in the first lesson, uh, we were using a big machine, uh, huh? uh, what, uh, what a like collision, uh, huh? and they, they find a particle of the god. It's very subtle, huh? it's very close to it. But it still subjects the condition, see or not? Yes, Mr. Leung, want to say something, Mr. Leung? Uh, no, no, it's LAC. Okay. okay. Uh, Mr. Leung, you have to off your camera. Your Wi-Fi is weak. Mr. Leung, off your camera and repeat what you said just now. Right there. Uh, the, yeah. the, the equipment on is called LHD. Like Hadron Collider. Why you remember so well? Uh, it looks like LDL. Uh, oh. <laughs> LDL is more impressive than, than the collider. Oh, is cholesterol. <laughs> yeah. LDL is cholesterol. See? Because at our age, uh, LDL is the culprit for everything. Uh. I think Kwan San can make a lot of money uh, uh, by helping people reduce the LDL, correct or not, Kwan San? Am I right, Kwan San? Uh, no one see who I don't sell that truck. <laughs> <laughs> you sell the truck more for what? Uh, sensitivity, right? Allergic, right? Uh, get a lot of money through selling the drug for allergic, right? Uh, you also don't sell. So if that's the case, you better go to sell the Kaleido. Uh. <laughs> okay, uh, joke a little bit. Uh. Okay. So C, okay, then next. Uh, uh, second is Supra Mandi Jana suppress the defilement. See, suppress. A supra mandate is eradicate. Okay, so class, uh, that is the difference. So the third one, you see, mandate generally to the re uh, rebirth. That's why class don't stop at the jhana. No matter how once you attain jhana, you should further with vipassana because the jhana will bring you to the heaven. Okay, uh, so that is not our final destination, but you make me. If you make it one of our stop, uh, okay, uh, like, like we do some flight, uh, sometimes uh, it's a non-stop flight, uh, it's very expensive. Some we got one stop, two stop, okay, uh, that one more cheaper. Uh. But of course, uh, this is not, not the it's not the price, uh, the, the cost problem. The problem is sometimes uh, we, we are not able to attain uh, just through one life, we, we cannot. So maybe you, you have to stop in the jhana there, the heaven. Uh, huh? Then there, you continue vipassana until you reach to the nibbana. Okay? Huh? Mm. So this is how you can do that. Uh, huh? Then uh, one more is, you see, finally, you see, the role of wisdom is subordinate to the concentration. But if, if, if in the supramande jhana, uh, basically jhana, the wisdom and the concentration, they are balanced. That is the key. Mm. Also, uh, the concentration and the wisdom must be balanced. That is the best. Okay. Okay, I think we finished already. So uh, by, by knowing the understand uh, the difference uh, between them, uh, you know what uh, you know what to do. Lah. So number one, meaning to say that jhana is the tools. You have to possess it. 
without the jhana, you're not able to analyze your mentality and material, uh, your fight aggregate clearly. Mm. Second, it can be the two, it's not our final destination, but it, it can become one of our stop, there will be no problem. Okay, uh, because uh, if you if if if, if let's say uh, next life uh, you reborn in the heaven uh, in the first jhana realm, uh, uh, basically uh, there's an advantage is you don't have to suffer with the body. Mm. Because uh, once uh, we do a half lotus uh, or no lotus, uh, uh, maybe after half an hour, one hour, wow, you start feel pain already. Uh, especially, um, especially, I mean, uh, you, 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 I mean, uh, you accumulate a lot of stress uh, 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 in, uh, uh, in your career. Uh. So finally, you do meditation, uh, that will be the obstacle uh, by having this body. Uh. But if you reborn, uh, become a first jhana being, uh, you don't have to pro all this type of problem. Uh. But you have other problem. Uh. The problem is maybe overjoy. Uh. So you'll be joy all the time. Uh. Then you start to ignore uh, the, I mean, uh, the cultivation. Mm. Because we need suffering uh, to remind us that to meditate. Without suffering. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, people just enjoy only. Yes, Mr. Lung, yeah. Uh, Sifu, um, to attain the path and fruition, uh, it's not necessary to have jhana. Oh, no, uh, the best is to have jhana. The best, actually, in our sutra, Mo, uh, I mean, uh, the sutra mentioned by attaining, uh, I mean, uh, 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 attaining the uh, path and fruition with the jhana, you can find many many sutra support of this fact but just only one sutra only uh, mentioned that upachara samadhi for half and the fruit okay mr long carry ah uh, uh this one the dry masala is not the majority in our sutra it's not representative okay you see, the thing is uh during a uh, buddha's time ah uh, even lay people just by just hear, hearing the yeah. The teachings of the Buddha, they already be enlightened. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, like okay, yeah, Mr. Leong. Basically, this type of sutra, we won't explain in this way. Huh? We will explain that uh, there's uh, two reasons. Number one, uh, the moment uh, the sutra is spreading uh, through verbally, so a lot of facts uh, have been ignored. Mr. Leong, number one reason. Huh? And the second explanation is they already attained a good Jhana and Vipassana already. They just need a little bit moment, uh, uh, one more, a few sentences to enlighten them. Uh, meaning to say that they have they have they have done 99 percent of the preparation in the past life. So one sentence is enough for them. Okay? So Mr. Leong, we answer we will we will we will uh Abhidhamma Abhidhamma uh, uh, I mean uh, for the, for those who side with Abhidhamma will explain the thing in this way, lah, Mister Leo. Uh, uh, only people who side with Abhidhamma, uh, they will say, "Oh, no, no, no need, no need all this because the, the sutra mentioned in this way." But the fact is, Mister Leo, nowadays, uh, we read the sutra so many already, uh, until incalculable sutra, but we are still here. <laughs> we are still nothing. You see, or not ah. Uh. Uh, so, Mister Leo, uh, this is the controversy issue. Get it, Mister Leo? Okay, thank you. Okay, more controversy, huh? but, but Mr. Long, nowadays you can hardly find anybody huh, can just uh, attain the power of fruition by just hearing one sentence only. Lah. Quite hard. Lah, huh? But you can get an example just only in the Chinese Zen. Chinese Zen. Uh, uh, the teacher, uh, they got the psychic, they know uh, when to make you enlightened. Sometimes they will, they will beat you. Ah, uh, They will beat you. Huh? Maybe sometimes they will throw a glass to you, you see. Ah, you can enlighten in this way, huh? Uh, just the Zen school, uh, we can see how uh, they still, I mean, the method uh, can they can use this type of approach to make the student enlightened, huh? Uh, so, Mister, so, Mister, so, uh, they are using the direct pointing to open up your wisdom. Uh, uh but of course, uh, they still have to pay attention, uh, using the Gong An, uh, or, or, or the Hua to, uh, to pay attention, uh, but once, uh, I mean, uh, they try to create a skeptical, they create as a skeptical, uh, once the skeptical getting thicker and thicker, uh, and you got the past life pyramid, uh, you were able to enlighten within this life. But of course, uh, this type of method, uh, you can't use uh, uh, our present system, Abhidhamma, to, 
to verify it. Uh, this you have to use the Chinese method themselves to verify it. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, the, the, the other sutra, the other, the other uh, commentary to, to validate it, you cannot use our present Abhidhamma to validate the method. Okay, Mr. Long, get it? Mm. Okay. But, uh, but Mr. Long, if, if it's possible, I will still encourage you all to try the different method. Uh, once the method uh, is sustainable, meaning to say that, uh, I mean, uh, especially the uh, you, uh, you, uh, the, uh, if, if, if the method can sustain, meaning to say the market is still where it's there. Uh, one, the market is there, meaning to say the product must be sustainable. There must be some reason there. Huh? So you just try it. Sometimes uh, the method is workable for you. It's, it's better than the meditation method behind the Abhidhamma, which is sounds good and detailed, but it doesn't work well with you. It, it is useless. You get what I mean? Oh, so Chunta, you let's say you do the chan, mantra chanting, while well, you work very well, oh, that will be meaningful to you. Compare the Abhidhamma, oh, we can explain things so well, but it doesn't work well with you. Uh, it is not that perfect already. Get it? Uh, uh, so no matter how, uh, uh, you, you have to, uh, 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 after learning the theory, uh, you must uh, get a good practical. Uh, oh. Okay, next, let's take a look. Oh. So this is the path and the version are graded along the scale of the five jhana. Oh. So that is the answer. Each path and the version consciousness can be enumerated as a five fold. Okay, oh. so, okay, so, this is a summary. So congratulations. You already finished chapter number one. Shall I proceed to chapter number two? Or you want to say bye-bye with me? <laughs> or you prefer killing time with me also? <laughs> can you follow? Yes, Tionke, can you follow? It's okay. About. 50, 60%. Uh. 50, 60, 60, okay. Um, okay. How about Guan San? 50, 60 or so? Below or above? Same. Around around there, see, bro. Around there. Uh. I think, uh, the, I think uh, you can only verify 50, 60% after the examination. You want to take the exam or not? <laughs> yes, Junta, how many percentage of mastery? I think it's about 50, yeah. Uh, it's quite tough though. So it's not still 50, huh? okay, huh? But okay, but but one thing is uh, um, uh do you think uh, it is worth for you to continue to the second chapter? Do you think it is it is something it is, it is worth uh through the first chapter we have gone through? Yes, Junta. You wish to proceed? Second chapter? Uh yeah, I think so. Because uh we haven't actually uh, earlier we don't touch on this type of thing like jhana or this thing. Uh. Yeah, yeah, we're going on the very base. So yeah. now we go a little bit deeper. At least we have an overview first. Uh. So ah. now we cannot stop all. We have an overview that, that such thing that exists in wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that's good. That's good. Mm. So you, you have a good reason to proceed. Lah, oh. Okay, besides killing the time. Lah, oh. <laughs> How about one son? Yes. For chapter two. Mm. Do you have intention to proceed? Mm, same, time. Uh, same time. Same time, Sifu. Yeah, of course. Uh, do as what we do now. Lah. I think it should be okay. Same time. For killing your time? Not for killing time. I got <laughs> things to do. Uh, Sifu. You, want, you, want, you want to learn something? Lah, huh? Still worth it. Yeah. Uh, no, you thought you got to know. Yeah, Tionke. Same. Agree with that. Okay, okay. Just continue, huh? okay, huh? just so, continue. So we just continue, okay, huh? uh, Well, uh, basically, class. Uh, let me let me remind you. Chapter number one, two, and three. They are the fundamental for the chapter number four, five, six, and the climax is in the chapter number eight and chapter number nine. Okay, the whole samatha vipassana, sila samatha vipassana, is in the last chapter. So the last chapter is the brief of the Visuddhimagga. Okay, huh? so once you finish chapter number one, and the uh, second chapter is about the Buddhism psychology. Or huh? let's we try to go through. Actually, chapter one and two combined together, we call it as a Buddhism psychology. Huh? Uh, Chunta, uh, the, the uh, I mean, uh, the Dharma you learned before are more on the mantra, so they don't they don't really go in 
deep with this part. Oh, so we go deeper again. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, well, uh, you try to combine, uh, okay, uh, com combine together with the psychology, uh, it will be very interesting. Oh. So we go to the chapter number two, compendium of the mental factor. Okay, yes. Uh, well, uh, okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, who's turn to read? Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Popo, can you please read? Uh, Claire, can you please read? On the mic, please. The, the 52 states associated with consciousness that arise and cease together that have the same object and base are known as mental factors. States associated with consciousness. The second chapter of the Abhidharma Sang Sankhaha is devoted to the classification of the second type of ultimate reality the chetasikas or men, mental factors. The chetasikas are mental phenomena that occur in immediate conjunction with chitta or consciousness and assist chitta by performing more specific tasks in the total act of connection. The mental factors cannot arise without chitta, nor can chitta arise completely segregated from the mental factors. But though the two are functionally in, interdependent, Chitta is regarded as primary because the mental factors assist in the cognition of the object depending upon Chitta, which is the principal cognitive, ele uh, cognitive element. The relationship between Chitta and the Chattasikas is compared to the that between a king and his retinue. Although one says the king is coming, the king does not come alone but he always comes accompanied by his attendants. Similarly, whenever a chitta arises, it never arises alone, but always accompanied by its retinue of chetasikas. In the compendium of mental factors, Acharya Anuruddha will first enumerate all the mental factors in their appropriate classes. Thereafter, he will investigate the mental factors from two complementary points of view. The first of this is called the, the method of association. This method takes the mental factors as the basis of, in of inquiry and seeks to determine which types of chitta each mental factor is associated with. The second point of view is called the method of combination or inclusion. This method takes the chitta as primary and seeks to determine for each type of chitta which mental factors are combined within. That okay, thank you so much. Now we can stop here.
Your tower place wants to finish. Okay, class, take a look. See, we call it the orange. So class, take a look. So this we call it as orange, right? Okay, ho. Uh, yes, uh, Guan San, ho. Can you tell me that, lah, ho? What is the composition, sa? Within the orange, ha? Composition, lah. Means the uh, means the uh, ingredient, lah. See for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As what you see in the picture, lah, ho. Vitamin C, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Vitamin C. No, no vitamin C. Okay, I mean the steam, all this thing lah, huh? Orange color. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know how to. Okay. How yes, to yes. Okay. So what? Uh, what is in the white color? So this is the skin, right? Uh, so what? The what is the in the white color is what? The white color is what uh? Uh, fiber, right? Mm. Uh, I think so. <laughs> so this is a fiber. Okay. Then you see, ah, uh, you see, ah. Uh, then uh, once we after peeling uh, the, the orange uh, again we see this is we call it what? With the juice one, we call it as what? This is we call it as a flash. Yeah. <laughs> well, you look I don't like know how to describe skin. them uh, already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so this is the flash. Then we will see some juice, right? Okay, huh? and then I uh, see uh, inside also got seed, right? Or oh, yeah. So we see huh? so meaning to say that. When we talk about orange, uh, meaning to say this is the combination for the, all these different different components together. Then we call it as an orange. If let's say we take out our, we take out our, all this composition, there's no such thing. We call it as orange. Am I right? Am I right? Mm. Uh, actually, an uh, orange, uh, it doesn't exist. Uh, the orange only exists uh, what when uh, all the composition are uh, like the flesh, the fiber, the skin all combined together. See or not? So same, all our jitta is just like orange, you see. So when once we check our jitta, actually there is a group of the jitta sika, uh, they, they, they work well together uh, to perform and mutually talk each other to, uh, to make you feel the existence, the function of the jitta. Uh, just like an orange, you see. Uh, 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 we need the flesh, we need the juice, we need the fiber all work together well together then to form uh, the whole function of the orange you can see uh, in the in the orange color uh, something is very concrete there so likewise uh, our consciousness is very concrete the reason is because due to the combination of the mental factor you get it okay but of course uh, in our book uh, it doesn't use this example what example the book refers to what is the example our book refer to the book doesn't use this example what does the book use? Ah, uh, uh, I highlight already. You see, just see what I highlight. Ah, uh. no, I can't get it. <laughs> Sorry. No, the king and the retinue. Do you see the king and the retinue? I see or not? Mm. Junta, are you daydreaming? Don't daydreaming. Yeah, yeah. Anytime we call you, huh, so that you have to pay attention. Okay, so, I'm a bit sleepy. Yeah. Uh, you, you're a bit sleepy. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 Uh, if you really uh, feel you want to uh, sleep a little bit, maybe you just off your camera, uh, you close your eye and just listen, you can do it this way. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, uh, okay, class. Uh, so, so this is an example of the book user. Uh, no matter uh, uh, wherever the king goes, uh, the retinue will go together. See? The king and the retinue. So that is an example. They use it. Uh, okay. Uh. Then uh, let's take a look. So we go back to the text. Uh, this is the whole chapter, the, the whole paragraph mentioned, you see. Uh, number one, okay, uh, we, uh, the name, uh, we call it as a mental factor, as we mentioned, uh, uh, the composition of the orange, uh, the analogy uh, as orange. So for our consciousness, uh, the composition we call it as a mental factor, or we use it as a jetta sika, all right. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, this is arise and sits together with the consciousness, just like orange. Uh, all the components uh, uh, come together with the orange. Uh, uh. 
And you see, uh, number one, this is the second part of the ultimate reality, the second one. So the first one, so what is the first one, Sally? Huh? If the Chetasika is the second ultimate reality, where is the first one? The first one. The first one actually is in the chapter one. No? So the chapter one is about what? Uh, yeah, you do remember that one, I just flip uh, uh, yeah, chapter one. Yeah, what's the title for chapter one? The consciousness. Yes. So number one is the consciousness. Second is the Jetasika. <laughs> I think without the examination, uh, you're quite hard to say I'm 50% comprehensible. <laughs> quite hard. Yeah, yeah. The simple answer is you don't know how to answer already. You see, a simple question, you see. Huh? Okay, let's, let's take a look. Huh? Then you see, uh, this is a mental phenomenon. Then you see, in immediate conjunction with chitta and consciousness, immediate conjunction, uh, like, like, the, uh, like the flash of the orange, uh, assist chitta performing more specific tasks, you see, assisting. Uh, so we need the flash, we need the juice, we need the seed to help the orange perform the function as an orange, you see. You see, the mental factor can, cannot arise without the chitta. So you really need the... Uh, uh, the, the uh, I mean, uh, uh, the the uh, the mental factor really need the chitasika also, like the flesh, uh, 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 the fiber. Uh, they also need the orange, uh, uh, so that they become an orange. You see, anyway, chitta is the primary. Uh, okay, the whole orange is the primary, but the rest, the uh, mental factor assists it. Okay, uh, then uh, come. So there's a, a lot of. Uh, so this ch chapter number two, we we just got three parts to study. Number one is in the appropriate classes. Second is the second one is regards what uh, is regard the method of association. The third one is the combinations. Okay, uh, uh, let me finish the whole thing first. Uh, okay, uh, appropriate classes uh, is not hard to remember. Uh, okay, but let me put an example for you for the uh, method of association and the combination. Okay. Yeah, don't get okay. Your <laughs> your turn. Okay, so don't get you see ah, uh, you go to the mamak store. Okay, you did. Uh, there's a three choice of the drink for you. Okay, one is the Milo. Okay, Milo. One is the Kopi C. Okay, ho. Uh, one is the orange juice. Okay, ho. So uh, okay. Uh, don't get. Can you analyze to me uh, Within the Milo uh, what is the composition of the Milo? Don't answer me atom chocolate. La. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. The chocolate, the sugar, the milk, sugar. Ah, the sugar, the milk. The, the water. The water. Yeah. How about the Milo? Milo powder, Milo. no Milo powder one. Ah? The chocolate powder, the Milo ah, chocolate powder. powder. Milo powder, la. okay. okay. So <laughs> this is the composition. Huh? A second is the copy C. What is the composition of copy C? The coffee powder, sugar, water. Uh, also. C. You don't know what it means. C. Uh, C mean got some more. Uh, what C, la? Yeah. Ah, C mean to say got some carnation. Uh, what a uh, condensed milk. Uh, not condensed milk. Uh, vapor milk. Okay. Vapor milk. Yeah. Uh, vapor milk. Uh. Okay. How about the composition of the orange juice? Water, sugar, and the orange. Ah, uh, water, sugar, and orange. Okay. So, okay, don't get la. What are you mentioning now? We call it as what? We call it as a combination. So set chitta is a primary. So we try to analyze uh, the inside uh, what, what, what is available inside the chitta. Get it? Okay. Huh? Then again, same. Uh, huh? We got these three drinks. Uh, huh? Don't get no finish. Okay. Huh? So okay. Uh, if I mention water, okay, which one got water? What? All of them. All of them got water, right? Okay. Yeah. Huh? Okay, how about the sugar? Uh, how about the, the milk? Which one contain the milk? Uh, only the copy C. A uh, copy C only contain the milk, right? Okay, um, how about the uh, the, the orange juice? Uh, the orange juice, the essence of orange. Which one got? Only the orange. Uh, the only orange. orange. Okay, how, um, then. how about the sugar? Which one contain the sugar? Uh, all of them. 
all of them completed the sugar. Yes, okay, huh? so don't get uh, the way you analyze the record as a man method of association. See or not? So, which part of the cheetah each mental factor is associated with? Get it? Uh, so, class, you can just uh, write, write uh, simple notes here. You will know that, oh, later on you're going to study this. <laughs> but, uh, but during our study, uh, it's not the simple three drinks only. We've got 52 drinks for you to choose. So. <laughs> Yeah, don't get we got 52 you know actually at uh, the company you see ah uh, don't get a uh, now uh, uh, meaning to say you got three types of drink okay okay then uh, uh if, if three types of drink if you try to analyze the composition uh, uh, so you see we will see the sugar okay the milo powder uh the vitamin uh what are uh, the orange essence of the orange okay and then uh, the water okay and the milk see or not so meaning to say that we take it out as a this is the three this is the five right okay oh. but for this chapter it's no more three it's uh, 89 and the five will turn out become 52 got it <laughs> so the combination will be very complicated right thank okay. you ah yes but it will be more challenging i think you will like it oh. yes um okay how oh, you will like it oh. mm, okay oh, yeah yes uh, mr leong any question mr leong uh, Sifu, ah. uh, accordingly, let's say, for example, uh, something like, for example, an orange, uh, mm. uh, make up of a combination, uh, mm. but it, it can be a combination of the four elements, right? Oh, we, we do, okay, we don't, we don't analyze to that level, lah. Uh, ah, we don't, we, we, we don't, uh. yeah, we don't analyze to that level, we just analyze, uh, in the level of a very superficial level, only. we don't go to the chemistry yeah. level, uh, Mr. Leong. <laughs> uh, don't go to the to the what uh, uh, to the micro level no, no no we haven't to that level yet just an example me huh? uh, but 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 mr leong in abhidharma uh, frankly speaking it goes to the microscopic area. we will go to go into the microscopic oh uh, yeah yeah i was going into that yeah 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 don't get lah huh? actually uh, what we are going to study uh, the difficulty is about i think Maybe 50 times more than the example you answer. Lo. <laughs> About 50 times of a difficulty, you know. Oh, then you will, you will know that. Huh? But anyway, but once you go through this, okay, okay, yes. Okay, um, yeah, okay, huh? okay, uh, yes, set, okay. So, uh, 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 huh? can you tell me what's the advantage uh, after they don't get able to analyze uh, this, this type of thing? Three type of the drink, the combination. So, what is the advantage after analyzing the whole thing? Advantage. Uh, what's the advantage? Able to link or oh, find the pattern. Uh, find the link and pattern. You, you think uh, if, if Tiong Kit uh, is the trader, uh, uh, I mean, uh, run, uh, selling the drink, you think uh, he got the advantage by knowing all this detail? Right, huh? right, huh? uh, don't get how huh? if you prepare the drink uh, because you know all these things, you know how to prepare what uh. in the real life, uh, in Mamak store, more than three drinks, I think maybe or uh, 30 to 40. Easy for you to prepare, then you can prepare in a good way, in a, in a very uh, uh, how to say, uh, we, I mean, uh, in the what, uh, uh, in the more uh, less cost, uh, you can prepare because you know uh, what we repeat, what we not repeat, you know what to prepare, see or not. Ah, same in Abhidharma. By knowing all these things to the knowledge, uh, especially if you are the yogi uh, who do the vipassana, you can analyze very well. Uh, because you know uh, uh, what's, uh, what's the similarity between uh, each of them, or this. Uh, uh. But of course, uh, uh, if, if, you, if you want to become the teacher like me, uh, uh, to teach the Abhidharma, you have to really, as, as, as detailed as uh, what Tiong can do, uh, uh, analyze the drink, the combination and the inclusion. Uh. Uh, but, but if let's say you do the Vipassana, you might not, you, uh, it's not necessary to be so detailed, but roughly you have to know. Uh. Uh, okay, uh. Okay. okay, now we go to, uh, to the next part. Okay, so uh, so this is the rules and regulation, huh? Uh, yeah, Mister Leong, maybe uh, you uh, let you read the passage, please. Uh, Mister Leong, I don't hear you. Oh, Mister Leong, I think your your Wi-Fi is so bad. Until I don't hear you, Mr. Leung. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Yeah, okay. Um, yes, uh, maybe uh, just um, okay. Huh? okay. I think, I think uh, say for uh, maybe ask some uh, somebody else because my line is not good. Ah, uh, yes. So either Kwan San or Jiang Kiet, no? because one is sleeping, <laughs> one is busy. <laughs> one. So either you or he. No? So Kwan San, you read. Ah, uh, Jiang Kiet, you read. Ah, uh, Jiang Kiet, you haven't read yet. Huh? That arise. Uh. Okay. That arise and sits together with consciousness. The first verse define the mental factors by way of four characteristics that are common to them all. Arising together with consciousness, Ekupada, seizing together with consciousness, Ekaniroda, having the same object as consciousness, Ekalambana, having the same base as consciousness, Ekawatuka. These four characteristics delineate the relationship between the jitta and its concomitant chetasikas. If only arising together were mentioned, the definition would include wrongly as chetasikas those material phenomena that arise simultaneously with the jitta. That is material phenomena produced by mind and by karma. However, these material phenomena do not all perish at the same time as the co-arisen chitta, but, for, but mostly endure for 17 my moments. Thus, to exclude them, the, the characteristic seizing together is introduced. Again, there are two material phenomena, bodily intimations and worker intimations. <clears throat> which arise and cease together with consciousness. However, these material phenomena do not take an object and this distinguishes mental phenomena, both citta and cetasika, from material phenomena. All mental phenomena experience an object, co-arisen citta and cetasikas experience the same object, while material phenomena do not experience any object at all. Thus, the third characteristic is stated, that of having the same object. Finally, in those realms in which the aggregate of material form is found, example, in the sensuous, sensuous world and the fine material world, the citta and its chetasikas have the same physical base. That is, they arise with the common support of either one of the material sense organs, or the heart base. This is fourth characteristic of Cheta Sika. Okay, thank you so much. Okay.
okay highlight okay come on please once you finish uh. okay class uh basically uh, once we talk about her uh, uh the relationship between the uh, i mean uh, the consciousness and the jatasika okay we will say they arise together they cease together and then they are having some same object and they're having the same base we have to use these four conditions to describe their relationship if we just use one or two only it's not enough because uh, there will be some other things are uh, quite similar with them and then uh, i mean uh, uh, and it is not enough uh, to explain the relationship so that's why we need to explain uh, this that we need four conditions uh, to explain uh, uh, i mean uh, the relationship between them uh, uh, so why why it happened in this way it will involve a few things uh, let's take a look number one is about the material okay uh, class uh, basically uh, if you say uh, okay mental uh, the consciousness and the mental factor they arise together well it is not enough the reason is because uh, the uh, the material also will arise together with our our mental uh, with, uh, with our consciousness it will arise uh, together so you can't say that but if you say uh, arise and cease together you are able to exclude the material because uh, basically mater the material will take 17 moments uh, to i mean uh, to disappear meaning to say that the lifespan of our material is longer than our consciousness for 17 times see so uh, uh, so so this is the reason why we have to uh, to talk i mean uh, we have to lay down the condition that uh, 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 the, uh, the consciousness and and the mental uh, and the ment, uh, and the jatasika they arise together and they cease together but this too is not enough you have to mention that they have the same object the reason is what if you don't talk about the, 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 the condition so the bodily intimation and the vocal intimation both of them actually they will arise and cease to enter the consciousness what are they actually both of this we will only learn in chapter number six please write down chapter number number six so I don't explain, I don't want to, I don't want to go to that chapter, it will be confuse you. Huh? So remember that once we finish chapter number six, we have to come back here uh, to, to understand uh, why this clause uh, is essential. Okay. Huh? Then last, last one is, uh, we have to talk about that. Uh, they are uh, uh, basically, uh, 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 the final one is this. Uh, uh, this in this right agree of okay uh, they, they share the same base uh, why we have to say they say they say uh, they share the same base the reason is of this you see you see they say uh, in the sensual world and the fine material the chita chita sika have the same physical base what does it mean physical base uh, in order to make the, the consciousness arise we need a base uh, in the modern world uh, it's our brain uh, is in the brain huh? but in the ancient text uh, huh? that, that implies that this might be in the heart so it, it will influence uh, huh? the definition nowadays huh? but now quite clear that we know that it's supposed to be the brain so meaning to say that you, uh, 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 the chata chata sika arise together through the brain they need, they need the brain to arise we have to lay down this condition again why because if you don't mention this uh, huh? people will get confused with other is regarding the fine material see or not okay huh? uh, so once we talk about this all this uh, uh, the relationship between the chata chata sika we have to use we have to put these four clauses uh, huh, to really to show the relationship between both of them and exclude the other uh, which look quite similar with them okay get it uh, uh, so uh, some involve other chapter just ignore it uh, huh? Okay, class, let's take a look. Now we are going to uh, 52 mental factor. Okay, 52, see? Big figure, right? So before go to the figure, please take a look to the table 2.1. Okay, please take a look to the table 2.1. Class, uh, I give you a little bit time to analyze the table. Okay, so please 
do an, uh, 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 please analyze the table huh? just go to see the major title the subtitle and please take a look uh, anything you look similar you feel interested uh, uh, which you learned before which is unfamiliar with you please record down now huh? i give you about two minutes to finish from now please Okay, time's up. Yes, Mr. Leong, can you please tell us uh, what have you discovered? Mr. Leong, please. <clears throat> huh. I think this one uh, also can involve the, the, the five hindrances, the four uh, on. It, uh, it, noble eight four path and all these things, uh. Yeah, Mister Long. Maybe Mister Long, you begin with how many classes you see? Here? How many classes? I see there are many classes, but I don't know how to specify. Oh, okay. So you can see in this way. I think Tiong Kep know it very well. Tiong Kep, can you please analyze? What is the what is the major major classes? Uh, four ethically variables. Okay. Uh, then okay. unwholesome factors. Uh -huh. Uh, unwholesome beautiful, factor, okay. And then beautiful something, beautiful factors. Ah, uh, beautiful factor because you see, uh, how they arrange should be know already, right? Okay, huh? mm. Then from ethical variable thirteen, uh, some more classes. What what are they? Universal and occasional. Yeah, universal occasional. Then from unwholesome, we will see unwholesome universals, unwholesome occasionals. Okay, then from the beautiful factor, we are able to see beautiful universal, you read absentee, abstinence, ah. illimitables, non delusion. Yes, okay. Which class we see? We, we see, uh, okay. Which, which class having the most member? The beautiful factor. Yeah, the beautiful factor. Okay, huh? yes, Guan San. Take a look, Guan San, uh, from here, can you have a guess? Uh, what does it mean, ethical variable? Can you try to use your own language? Guan San, where are you? Oh, gone already. Okay, huh? yes, okay, Sally, can you ask, you think what, what, what does that mean, ethical variable? 
Sally? Ethical variable is universal psychological. No, 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 no. Ethical variable, you think what does that mean? Huh? Ethical variables. Hmm. This one is... Yeah. Sally, yeah, if somebody uh, stole people, steal people money, uh, we will say, you are unethical, right? Mm. Right or not? If you're helping people, we will say, you are ethical, right? Uh, so that mm. is the meaning, uh, ethical or non-ethical. Uh. Ah, so meaning to say that, ethical variable, ethically variable, meaning to say that this group of the Jetta Sika, uh, they will appear both in ethical and in ethical. Ah. That the here here we can we can know in this way, huh? So what does what does that mean? Universe, as you see, Sally. Universe. Universal is everyone also gets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You talk about uh, everyone, right? But here, not everyone is every consciousness. Sally, we got chapter one. We got eighteen. That consciousness, right? Right. Mm. So meaning to say, if you talk about universe, meaning to say that all 89 consciousness will possess the universe. Got it or not? Yeah. Ah, mm. that is the meaning. Lah, oh. ah, because uh, 89 consciousness, just remember, in 89 consciousness, uh, we got some, uh, we call it as a unfavorable consciousness, right? Some instead are favorable consciousness, right? Ah, right mm. or not? Ah, so, so, so uh, the, I mean, uh, the 12 are the greedy, ha hatred, and stupidity. Uh, oh. They are all considered unethical. Uh, oh. And then uh, we have uh, eight consciousness. Uh, the good one, the beautiful chitta, uh, they, are the they are the good one. Uh, so, meaning to say, if they are ethical variable, meaning to say, they can go for both areas. Uh, am I right, Sally? Uh, so, universe meaning to say, for all 89 chitta sika, you're able to see them. Ah, so that's from here, we get a clue ready. So occasional, what do you think, Sally? Occasional? The means it's not only certain, certain... Yeah, so, sometimes it will appear. Sometimes yeah, it does sometime. not appear. So we call it occasional, right? Okay, yeah. then you see an unwholesome factor, you see. Why, why we talk about unwholesome universe? Meaning to say, who, I mean, uh, who, uh, who will possess the the unwholesome universe who possess uh? ah who what consciousness will process all the unwholesome <laughs> one no sally remember the unwholesome mm. we got 12 right you need to say 12 for they all possess this so we call it unwholesome universe okay huh? mm -hmm. so how about unwholesome occasional sally occasional at least some of them only has it, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So meaning to say, we've got a 12, uh, 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 12 unwholesome consciousness. This one, some will appear, some will disappear. Some they don't have. Okay, huh? Yes, Guan San, your turn. What does it mean, beautiful universe? What does that mean? Beautiful universe. Ah, beautiful universe. What does that mean, beautiful universe? Um, yeah, I give you a clue. Uh, Guan Let's take a look. Eighty nine. Huh? Okay. Hey, this your favorite wheel, uh. uh, this one is uh, wheel, uh. Uh, Okay. Uh, Twenty eight. Okay. Do you see the word beautiful, no, Guan Sun? Beautiful. Let me check. You see any beautiful here? Mm, yep. Sun sphere. Yep. Twenty four. Beautiful, right? Mm, so meaning they yep. say all is the beautiful. Huh? Some more beautiful so. here. Hmm. Southern wholesome. Mm. Hey. Eh? Some. Still just, got that. So we just. Aye. This yeah. tree lah. Uh, we just see sun sphere. Here. Yeah. Yeah, we just here see here as a beautiful huh? so yep. what does it mean beautiful universe you need to say you need to say oh god right mm, uh, make three sense, of this, uh, um, uh, make sense three of this. to say all the consciousness here they will they, uh, uh, they will they will process all this so we call it a beautiful universe Got it? Oh, oh, so many. Ah, okay. Oh, so many, you know. Then the rest are abstinence, Ill illimitable, non-delusion. Uh, huh? So, Kwan uh, uh, 
just have a guess at how. I mean, you you don't see this three group ah. Uh? Which one you don't see this three group ah? Uh? One son, you think? Which one I don't see? Ah, uh, this three group. Okay. Uh, do you think uh, in the unwholesome chitta, are you able to see this three group or not? Which is categorized under the beautiful factor? See or not see? You mean unwholesome chitta? Delusion. Uh. No, no, unwholesome right. chitta. Unwholesome. Okay. There are three here. Greed, hatred, and delusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you think uh, they will possess uh, this three group or not? Abstinence, illiterate, non-delusion by seeing the, the title beautiful factor okay Guan San, do they look beautiful or not this type of thing do they look uh, are they look beautiful mm, no because yes, they are ugly so sure you, you don't see them here okay oh mm. sure you don't see them so meaning to say that you are able to see them here all this sense okay. ah because uh, they are beautiful mm -hmm. see or not okay okay these are the good ones huh? ah they okay. are the good ones yeah so that's why uh, they categorize uh, the 52 chapter sika you have to know all this very well because uh we will oh. do what we don't get to her uh, regards the drinks okay mm. so don't get am i correct the difficulty will upgrade about i think maybe 50 percent or more <laughs> <laughs> not 50 percent i think 50 times uh, because everything all come together already see and uh, mm. okay uh, it, yes interesting do you think uh, you, can you make it like a game uh, and make it interesting you have to make it like a game you know okay class uh, how to learn abhidharma uh, number one we make full use with the diagram always ask yeah. yourself question usually they could answer one uh, but asking mm. yourself the question uh, you can you can pick you can remember easily uh, by by just reading sometimes when you read you also don't know what what, what does it mention yeah. you just really don't know but if you ask in this way uh, then you go back and read again eh? it, it sounds makes sense to you right or not oh, i think a uh, class uh, if you really want to uh, uh, study this subject properly oh, i think mm. uh, before the study uh, you have to do some preparation but after that after this uh, you have to do the revision you cannot just look down this subject uh, like form five subject i don't think so really am i right no we're very tough eh? yeah quite tough ah oh, like stpm right oh wow just like stpm so that's tougher, why so yeah uh, what tougher tougher than stpm right ah yeah. like a pre subject yeah that's why uh if you really want to get but i can tell you lah, uh, once you finish this subject all the the, the tama tama talk uh, is is too simple for you already yeah, this is the most difficult one. Oh, once you finish this, uh, oh, oh, whatever dharma you 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 encounter, uh, it's just like kacang pute already. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so just work hard. Okay, so so that's why. Oh, okay. If you um, I, I haven't set the examination paper. Oh, so maybe you can help me uh, one day. Oh, Chinese we got a whole system already. You know, in Chinese, ah, uh, uh, actually, ah, uh, before I leave Sabah, oh, I train thirty six trainer before I leave you know so oh. yeah, so so the deceased people each of them are they are able to uh, I mean uh, to pass through each paper uh, each examination for each chapter uh, and now in early also same uh, we already have a 10 at least 10 people uh, who are ready become a, a tutor ready in this Abhidharma in the coming Chinese uh, Chinese uh, Abhidharma crash course see, you know? uh, so hopefully English uh, uh, you all can help me okay uh? Don't get concerned, promise me. Uh, work harder. Uh, you are very smart, but just maybe uh, you don't study as hard as uh, uh, the, the certificate uh, uh, recognizable by the government. You are you, are, you study hard there. Uh, here you don't pay much attention. But uh, if you're free, you've got free time, please study hard a little bit. Uh, I, can, I can tell you, uh, you'll be very fruitful and helpful for you. Got it? Uh, okay, uh. So that's, that's all for the class.